forget underwater cities, the future is floating. South Korea got a wild plan to build the world's first ever city on water. Like a giant apartment complex that bobs on the waves. This floating city, Oceanix Busan, is all about living green and being prepared for anything Mother Nature throws its way. Think about fresh ocean air, solar-powered homes, and maybe even a balcony with a built-in fishing rod. Sound pretty cool, right? Let's dive in and see how this watery city might actually work. Oceanix Busan is a new project launched at the United Nations headquarters. It's located near the coast of Busan, South Korea's second largest city. This effort is a collaboration between UN Habitat, an organization focused on sustainable urban development, the Busan Metropolitan City Government, and Oceanix, a company that specializes in innovative solutions to ocean-related challenges. The project brings together some of the best architects and engineers globally, like Big Bjark Ingels Group and SAMOO. They're the ones who design and build incredible structures. Right now, they're getting ready to start building the floating city. Their main goal is to make sure that whatever they build can withstand floods and keep people safe. This means they'll use special techniques and materials to create infrastructure that won't get damaged easily by water. By focusing on flood proofing, they're making sure that the city they built will be strong and resilient, even in the face of rising sea levels. Busan's strong connection to the sea and its well-developed marine engineering industry make it the perfect place to test out the floating city idea. Mayor Park Hyong Jun has big plans for Busan. He wants to make it a green, smart city. This means using technology and eco-friendly practices to make the city cleaner and more efficient. He's also aiming to host the World Expo in 2030 which would bring people from all over the world to see Busan's innovations. By choosing Busan for the Floating City project, they're not only solving problems, but also helping the city grow and thrive in exciting new ways. The Floating City is comprised of three interconnected platforms, spanning a total of 15.5 acres. These platforms are designed to be linked together, creating a cohesive community space. Initially, the city is planned to accommodate a population of 12,000 people. However, the design allows for potential expansion to accommodate up to 100,000 residents in the future, indicating a scalable and adaptable approach to urban development. Each platform serves a specific function. There are areas designated for living, research, and lodging. This zoning helps organize the city and ensures that residents have access to essential services and facilities. The platforms are connected by link span bridges, which not only provide passage between different areas, but also create a sheltered lagoon. This lagoon can be utilized for recreational activities, enhancing the quality of life for residents. One of the core elements of the city's design is sustainability. Integrated systems are implemented to address various aspects of sustainability, including energy, food, water, waste, mobility, and coastal habitat regeneration. The city utilizes floating and rooftop photovoltaic panels to generate energy. These panels are designed to capture solar energy efficiently, providing 100% of the city's operational energy needs. This renewable energy source reduces reliance on fossil fuels and minimizes carbon emissions. Urban farm areas are integrated into the city's design to promote food self-sufficiency. These farms utilize innovative techniques such as hydroponics or aquaponics to grow fresh produce. By producing food locally, the city reduces dependence on imported goods and supports sustainable agriculture practices. Sustainable water management systems are implemented to ensure efficient use and conservation of water resources. Technologies such as rainwater harvesting and wastewater treatment are likely utilized to minimize water waste and pollution. The city employs waste management strategies to minimize waste generation and promote recycling and composting. These efforts aim to reduce the environmental impact of the city and create a more circular economy. The city may incorporate sustainable transportation options such as electric vehicles, bicycles, or water taxis. These modes of transportation reduce carbon emissions and promote active lifestyles among residents. In addition to meeting human needs, the city design may include measures to regenerate coastal habitats and protect biodiversity. This could involve the creation of artificial reefs or the restoration of mangrove ecosystems, contributing to the overall ecological health of the area. The project serves as a beacon of hope for vulnerable regions facing the imminent threat of climate change. 
by demonstrating the feasibility of innovative and adaptive solutions. The floating city inspires confidence in its ability to address environmental challenges effectively. It showcases the potential for collaborative efforts between governments, organizations, and communities to create resilient and sustainable urban environments in the face of climate uncertainty. The purpose behind this is to show that we need new and creative ways to solve big problems that affect everyone. It's all about making sure that everyone, no matter who they are, is included and treated fairly. Rising sea levels are a big problem for places near the ocean all around the world. By 2050, more than 800 million people in 570 cities could be in danger because of this. So this project is a way of saying that we need to work together to find solutions that keep everyone safe and make sure nobody gets left behind. Constructing a city on the water is a feat of engineering that comes with its own set of challenges. The foremost challenge is the staggering cost of building a floating city. Initial estimates suggest that constructing the necessary infrastructure could require hundreds of millions of dollars in investment. Securing funds for such a monumental undertaking is essential for moving forward with the project. The safety and stability of the floating platforms are paramount. These structures must be engineered to withstand the powerful forces exerted by the ocean, including relentless waves and unpredictable currents. Ensuring their seaworthiness and structural integrity is essential to safeguarding the lives and property of residents. Developing an effective waste disposal system for a city on the water poses a significant engineering challenge. Traditional methods of waste management may not be feasible in a maritime environment, necessitating innovative solutions. Implementing sustainable waste management practices is essential to preventing pollution and preserving the surrounding marine ecosystem. The World Economic Forum brings together a group called the Friends of Ocean Action, made up of more than 70 influential leaders in ocean-related fields. Their mission is to find quick solutions to make our oceans stronger and more resilient. They're working on a bunch of cool projects, like finding new uses for leftover bits from fishing, investing in ships that don't pollute, and bringing back mangrove forests. These projects are all about making sure our oceans stay healthy and can bounce back from challenges. Oceanix Busan is part of a larger movement where cities are being built on water, like the carbon-neutral floating office Rotterdam in the Netherlands and the soon-to-come Maldives floating city. These projects are all about making cities that can handle the challenges of climate change while still being eco-friendly. They're built to last and adapt to changes in the environment, offering a safe and sustainable way for people to live. By creating cities on water, they're not just protecting the land from rising seas, but also showing how we can live in harmony with nature while still enjoying modern comforts. In the future, UN Habitat will keep an eye on how well the floating city is doing. They will use sensors and surveys to check things like energy use, waste, and how people are getting along. By studying this info, they will figure out what needs to change to make things better. This will help make the city more efficient and better for the environment. UN Habitat will keep doing this over time to keep making improvements. It will be like fixing things as they go along to make sure the city works well and stays green for the future. So, what do you think about South Korea's floating city? There are definitely some hurdles to jump over, but if they can pull it off, this could be a game changer for cities on the coast. Living on the water, powered by sunshine and wind, sign us up. Let us know in the comments what you think about this wave-worthy city. Would you want an oceanfront apartment that never has the same view twice? Hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more wild future ideas.